know, there's a funny story. Back in Lebanon, this happened. My father told me this story. He says, in Jama'ah, like this masjid, a group of Jama'ah came along. Uh, we were, they were praying Isha prayer. The Imam prayed and after he finished, a group of people said, Ya Imam, we think that you only prayed three rak'ahs. Another group said, no, no, no. I think we think he prayed four. Correct. Everybody's disputing and then suddenly they, felt they saw a man sitting aside, not saying anything. They asked him, why aren't you saying anything? It looks like, you know, why don't you come in and, and, and talk? He looks at them very wisely as if he knows everything. And confidently he says, he's prayed for. They said, why are you so confident? He said, he prayed for, I am definite, wallahi he prayed for. They asked him, how do you know? He said, ah, you see, I run four shops. And in Salat, in the first rak'ah, I've calculated the earnings for the first shop, second rak'ah, second shop, third rak'ah, third shop, and fourth rak'ah, fourth shop. My calculations are correct. I've got no other problems. That means we've prayed for. <laughs> it's funny, but you know what? It happens all the time. This man is calculating his earnings by which he calculated his rak'at of the salat. So the world is twisted the other way around. When Allah gives us too much, we forget our Lord even in our salat. And that's what Iblis said. He said, لَهُمْ صِرَاطَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمُ I shall sit awaiting for them on your straight path. In their salat, I'm going to wait for them. In the Quran, I'm going to, meaning when they recite, I'm going to wait, I'm going to whisper. I'm going to make them turn even their worship into a sin. Even their worship into a sin.